hope he's had an energy drink or two this morning. <laughs> he's gone very early. I, I, want, I want whatever he's had. <laughs> well, you come in to this event as, uh, as one of the non-seeds. He looks like the kind of guy who's got a smile on his face most days anyway he looks like he's, he's absolutely, absolutely nothing to lose what a way to spend the day yeah he looks like he's made for this event didn't he no sign of no sign of nerves you know embracing the atmosphere the dry break isn't going to do him much good and uh yellows a plant first up maybe and um yeah, that's the opportunity not, matt's been waiting for yeah not not absolute gimmies but they're all there uh doesn't need to disturb anything or dislodge anything so a good chance for Matt to get back in this match and that is that is not the best. No. Immediately you can see the uh, the issue he has now. Bottom right. Yeah, he'll be able to leave himself an angle off of uh off of this next one to maybe play oh, he's gone into it straight away. That's a great shot oh, from Matt yes. Lawrence. And boy did he need it. Slightly hampered queuing with the yellow to left centre. He'll feel like he's got a little bit of insurance as well with that red uh, below that right middle pocket, which is safe if he does. Oh, I queued that beautifully. He, does, he did queue that really well. Can somebody shout out, go on the dish. That's Matt Lawrence's <laughs> nickname. Oh, you wouldn't bet against him dishing here, would you? No, you wouldn't. He does need to, to. I mean, if he goes 3-0 down here with, what, 15 minutes left, it'll be in the match. Um, there's, there's little little margin for error. Needs a good angle. The angle is absolutely crucial here. Yeah, I can't really tell of the angle from from that. I think he's okay to roll past these reds. Always screw okay. back. He needs to, needs it to come back out though. I mean, he's mm. he's done what he wanted to do. He's just underhit it. I did play it off two cushions. Needs this double. He's missed it. It and oh dear! And he's he's left Phil Craig on his bad red, which he can play really as a, as, a, as a shot to nothing here. Oh, oh dear! He's not left the gap, has he? Wow! He's not left the gap. He needed to play that with a bit more, almost a bit of drag, if if as, as a bit of a drag shot, if you could. But I think he's left this. Wow! That that goes in the middle that could be a huge turning point now he's got he's got to bend it well he needed that he took his chance and he says if you can dance i can dance <laughs> and he's on the board halving his arrears trailing 2-1 that was a huge let off for, for matt lawrence in there he, phil had it wasn't an easy shot down the cushion but he had he had the opportunity to play that in a way as a shot to nothing, if he'd have just played it a little bit softer, um, could have found himself 3 0 up there. And the difference between 3 0 and 2 1 in these short formats is, 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 is huge. Yeah, that was a big moment. Straight back at the table, though, after another dry break. We joked right at the very top of the show, Dan, about how <laughs> we only just got the table ready to go. Uh, and it's true, they, they were they were stabilising it and they were getting it, they were, well, they were getting it ready to play as we were conducting that draw. Uh, as, as a player, what, what impact does that have? You, you wouldn't want to be first on here, would you? Probably not, no. No, just for the way that the cushions are going to, uh, the cushions are a little bit more spongy when... Um, you know, when when a cloth is brand new, uh, so it takes a little while to bed in as well. So ideally, you, yeah, you, you probably don't want to be the first the first match on. You. It would be nice to have four or five matches um, to to kind of bed the table in a little bit. But seems to have handled it pretty well, especially Phil. Just. Uh, Sort of taking control of this frame. There's, there's one, one bad yellow. Maybe two in this bottom left-hand corner of the table for Matt, but he's got the angle to. You beg your pardon. He's, uh, he's Phil at the table there. 
Okay. A little bit straight. I want to screw back over to the right-hand side of the table here. He's to ideally get away from the cushion if he can. It may look fairly easy at home, but th th these are quite tricky. He's got no angle to work with whatsoever. It's a great shot. That is a fantastic shot. That is so much better than it looks. Look how hard he had to hammer that he just to get that slight right. movement on the cue ball. It's the perfect word. He absolutely hammered it. He had to. Clean as a whistle. He needs to be low on this red. Doesn't want to be going into the black if he can help it. That isn't great, I don't no. think. Cue ball Anywhere. a little too near the cushion as well. Yeah, he's going to be running it. He might run through into the yellow. You can see he's jacking up a little bit here. This could go wrong. No, oh, you has. called it. So he had loads of margin of error. The, 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 when he had two reds left, if he could have just come anywhere lower, quite a bit lower than where he was, he had, he had a big margin of error. But double for three, one. Oh, oh. lucky. Two let-offs in two frames. That that could this could be four 0 We're now looking at two each. Yeah, I think those dancing shoes are going away for a, a few minutes, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. That wasn't lucky. That wasn't a case of weighing up the angle of that double because that was the only angle he could play it. <laughs> it was more. I've got to hit it this this angle. Let's see how close it gets, and it wasn't far off. You're right, and uh, I think that was the last thing that could have gone wrong in this finish. There was a a tricky-ish. Ball down the cushion and uh, Matt's, Matt's made that look a lot easier than it is. So nice the miners work a little bit here. He's obviously we're down to a 15 second shot clock now, but I can just top this through. That's a bad angle. Oh, what's he played there? Well, he's, was he playing behind that to the centre? Like he says, it, it's, it's such a bad shot. I don't know whether he's over hit it or under hit it. Oh, well, he's, he's missed, missed it. it. Well, what a let off. Oh, it could be a huge moment. Oh, great. I can only assume he was playing to run round so he could just stun it into stun it into the centre and, and stay on the black. But he got it so wrong. Nice to watch the white ball. That's a great shot. And what Phil. a let off for Phil Craig. Looked like 2-2. Two, two, and he has a lead. Look at the smirk. 3-1. The smirk is back. Well, that feels like a huge moment in this match. Such a let-off after the last frame as well. He's, he's literally just handed the favour back to him and said, look, you know, have, it, have your two-frame lead back. I mean, they were, with two balls left, they were, it was over. The frame was over and just the lapse of concentration. Is, is I just can't understand why he played that shot. No, he's, he just, I don't, I, again, may, maybe this new cloth, maybe it's in his head a little bit because it does run so, you know, it just seems to keep on running when there's a brand new cloth. Um, lovely once you've got the pace of the table, but can be an issue getting the pace of the table in the first place. We're going to see another dry break. Wow. Three in a row, four in a row. Yeah. And Matt's got 12 minutes to rescue this match. So sudden death rules, if it is a tie. And tell Matt's aware of... Uh, the time restraints are on him now. He's getting a wriggle on. He is getting a, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. He makes the game look so easy, doesn't he, Matt? That's the perfect angle. This frame's over. Such a strange game, isn't it? He can play that bad positional shot and 60 seconds later he can come back and do this. I think you, you're about spot on. I think it is about 60 seconds for this break and finish. For Matt Lawrence, and what a response. Well, they call him the dish, and that's brilliant. Had to do that to stay alive, and he did it really without drawing breath. Back to within one, two, three. What a match to start! <laughs> what a match! I'd be out of breath if I cleared up that quickly. Cool as a cucumber. Bit out of breath watching him clear up that quickly. <laughs> And because of how quickly he did that, suddenly, what, 11, 10 minutes to go? That seems a lot longer than it could have been. All of a sudden, we've got, we've got loads of time yeah, left. Yeah, we've got a match now. <laughs> so here we go. What a He's going for the cut break now. What a... Oh, it's another one. 
Another I dry. I don't believe it. Another dry. Reds over opposite pockets, but nothing down. Not an easy finish either. There's, there's work to do, whichever colour set you choose. And not much time to think about it. So red and the yellow down, so still whatever you plot you're on. What a shot from Phil Craig. <laughs> Deserve better, really. Still in control. Well, I think Matt only knows one way, and that's to attack, and he's got the perfect angle first up on this yellow into the bottom right corner to disturb these two that are on this bottom cushion. He is going to have an angle. He'll be able to leave himself an angle on the uh, yellow into the left middle pocket to either land on the yellow into the top right pocket, which is a very delicate shot, or, or go into it and disturb it, possibly off two cushions. If this goes well, he could find him doing it. How's the cue ball going? Where is it go? I think it's just about all right. I think the shot's on, just doesn't want to run around the back of this. Keywords there, just about. Nowhere near where he would have liked to be. Just about, yeah, and I think... He's jacking up a little bit. It's going to make the make the part an awful lot more difficult. Oh, he's overcut it. Yeah, it was just it was it was a tough shot. It's a really tough shot. And that red's just poked itself out in front of that yellow as well. So into this bottom left corner. So they're all on there. They're all on now for Phil Craig. You went back against him, taking a four-two lead now. Just needs to control the pace, control the pace of this. Just, just want to come just below the yellow if you can. This in the centre of the table. The change in yeah. shot clock from 30 down to 50 makes such a difference, doesn't it? It does. He's just about, just about perfect. I'm noticing a few strange rolls on the table. I don't know about you. I don't know if it's my eyes. I think, like you say, it's. it's these spongy cushions and you see, you see oh, wiped oh, its just feet. about <laughs> just about this for 4 2 4 2 up he goes and one away Well, we saw Matt Lawrence and reel off one frame with a 60-second dish. He's got to find three in a row now. He wants to hope that Phil goes dry, and he hasn't, but has he gone in off? Oh, oh, the skin of his teeth. Well, he's basically queuing in the pocket there. You see Kian Monaghan in the background, local boy. Yeah, just 16 years of age and a real talent. Yeah, he was terrific at Milton Keynes. He's a terrific young talent. He's a really, really good player. Very dedicated. Just plays pool hour after hour. Oh, it's not gone in the middle, is it? It hasn't. Is that it? Now that this is this is chance. This is a chance for the frame and match for Phil Craig. He knows it. All the way to the final in the last event. Staring down the barrel at the first hurdle here, Matt Lawrenson. Yeah, you'd have to call this an upset, wouldn't you? Well, the way Phil Craig's played, in hindsight, no, but yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. Like a duck to water, he's, he really has taken well to this atmosphere. Some players, and it's it's what separates Dan. It's what separates the uh, the good from the the excellent players. Not only in pool, in snooker, in darts. It's how you can take your game onto the televised stage when it is so different and the eyes are on you. And the early signs are really good for Phil here. Really good. He's embraced it. He's really sort of risen to the occasion and. Exactly right. You hear it all the time. How many how many people say I'm pra I'm practicing so well? I just can't, you know it's just not happening for me in tournaments. It's not it's not um, 
you know, but, but, but I feel good in my game. It's all about how you handle it under the pressure. And Phil's, Phil couldn't have played, couldn't have played much better. And you'll see that huge smile in just a second. I think we're going to see a decent celebration here from Crip, from Phil. What a performance. What a performer. There he goes. Well played, Phil Craig. Phil Craig celebrates. He's the first man through to the quarterfinals of this town shootout event, upsetting Matt Lawrenson with a 5-2 victory. And he'll play the winner of the next match, which is coming up right after this break.